Genesis 33. What did Jacob do when he met Esau? Jacob was very afraid to meet his brother Esau. But when they met, Jacob bowed to the ground many times as he came close to Esau. Esau ran to meet Jacob and hugged him. Genesis 22. Why did God ask Abraham to sacrifice Isaac? God tested Abraham's faith by asking him to sacrifice his only son, Isaac. Abraham took Isaac to the mountain, prepared to obey God. But God stopped him and provided a ram instead. Genesis 49 what did Jacob say to his sons before he died? Before Jacob died, he called his sons to bless them. He spoke to each one about their future. His words were important and showed what would happen to their families. Genesis 18 Who visited Abraham and Sarah? Three men came to visit Abraham and Sarah. They were special because they were messengers from God. They told Abraham that Sarah would have a son, even though she was very old. Genesis 7 What happened during the big flood? God told Noah to build a big boat called an ark because a great flood would come. Noah, his family, and animals of every kind went into the ark. The flood covered the earth. Genesis 44 Why did Joseph hide a silver cup? Joseph wanted to test his brothers, so he hid his silver cup in Benjamin's sack. When the cup was found, it looked like Benjamin had stolen it. Joseph watched how his brothers would react. Genesis 15 What promise did God make to Abram? God made a special promise to Abram. He told Abram that his family would be as many as the stars in the sky. God also showed Abram the land that his children would inherit. Genesis 29 How did Jacob meet Rachel? Jacob met Rachel at a well where she came to water her sheep. He helped her by moving a big stone from the well's top. Jacob loved Rachel and wanted to marry her. Genesis 41. What did Pharaoh dream about? Pharaoh had two strange dreams. In one, seven skinny cows ate seven fat cows. In the other, seven thin ears of corn swallowed seven healthy ears. Joseph explained these dreams meant seven years of plenty followed by seven years of famine. Genesis 3. What happened when Adam and Eve ate the fruit? God told Adam and Eve not to eat from a special tree. But a serpent tricked Eve into eating the fruit, and she gave some to Adam. This choice brought trouble into the world. Genesis 38. What did Tamar do to Judah? Tamar was Judah's daughter-in-law. She tricked Judah into giving her children because he did not keep his promise to her. She dressed as a woman from another place and met Judah without him knowing who she was. Genesis 13 How did Abram and Lot separate their lands? 
Abram and Lot had many animals and needed more space. Abram let Lot choose first. Lot chose the Jordan Valley because it was like a garden. Abram stayed in Canaan. Genesis 24 How did Isaac meet Rebekah? Abraham sent his servant to find a wife for Isaac. The servant prayed at a well, and Rebekah came to draw water. She was kind and offered water to him and his camels. This showed she was the right one for Isaac. Genesis 46 Why did Jacob go to Egypt? God told Jacob not to be afraid to go to Egypt because he would make a great nation from his family there. Jacob went to Egypt to see Joseph, his son, who he thought was dead but was alive. Genesis 10 What is the table of nations? Genesis 10 lists the families of Noah's sons after the flood. It shows where each family traveled and settled. This part of the Bible explains how different people and languages spread around the world. Genesis 31 Why did Jacob leave Laban? Jacob worked for Laban for many years, but Laban did not treat him fairly. God told Jacob to return to his homeland. Jacob left secretly with his family and flocks because he was afraid of Laban. Genesis 6 What did God see that made him sad? God saw that people on earth were very bad. They only thought about doing evil things all the time. This made God very sad, so he decided to send a flood to clean the earth. Genesis 43 Why did Joseph's brothers return to Egypt? Joseph's brothers went back to Egypt to buy more food. They brought their brother Benjamin, as Joseph asked. Joseph wanted to see if his brothers had changed since they sold him many years ago. Genesis 1 What did God do in six days? God made the world in six days. He made the light, the sky, the earth, the plants, the sun, the moon, the stars, the fish, the birds, the animals, and the people. He saw that everything was very good. Genesis 36 Who are the descendants of Esau? Genesis 36 talks about Esau's family. Esau had many sons and grandsons. They became leaders of tribes and lived in a land called Edom. This shows how Esau's family grew and spread.